Since Korobidi traveled to Nigeria to celebrate her father's birthday and create content, news broke about some nefarious activities that her ex-husband had been involved in. These activities were carried out by people who harbored dislike towards Kora, the singing and dancing princess from the motherland. The latest shocker is that one of Kora's strong haters visited her ex-husband's home in LA. This person reportedly babysat the children and took thought-provoking pictures of them. As expected by her fans, Kora immediately reacted to the news and told her fans she was looking into the matter. Public service announcement guys, I am here in Nigeria to work. Any distribution of any materials, especially concerning and with a minor involved, is illegal. Anyone illegally distributing minors, especially when they are naked and unclad, it's illegal. So continue. Everyone involved in it is going to be penalized for it. I'm here to work and I'm going to keep it that way until I can get back and handle business. Till then. Her ex-husband, who has been MIA on social media after announcing that he is deleting the Facebook page, eventually came out to speak. During his Facebook Live, he blamed Kura and bloggers for all his predicaments. My kids are being used as weapons to spread false narratives about me, to drum up views for <clears throat> bloggers, my ex. Like, they're just creating drama, which is going to be emotionally harmful to my kids in the future. The 35-year-old father of two, who kept saying he wanted to co-parent in peace, not too long ago called the police on his ex-wife after a dramatic child exchange that went wrong. He promised to address the issue, but eventually made a U-turn and started pointing fingers. Don't bring the police to my house. We, show, we showed up at the pickup place and waited for you for four hours. You didn't show up. And now you want to bring the police to my house? Why are you a drama king? You are, you are, you need, you need a, you need a tiara. I am epitome of co-parenting peace. I am communicative, I am respectful, I am kind, and I am extremely tired of all the drama. I probably just need someone shelter people for me, like just have someone protect me, because I am just way too damn trusting. Pretending to be my friend for a long time and now she's out there just trashing me, making up stories, lies, doing whatever she can. She's a fucking scammer, man. Calling me scammer for collecting people money to give to you when you cry for the money. What other ways is Cora Obidi's ex-husband fighting her behind the curtains on social media? Why does he think Cora is the problem for everything? Hello guys, it's Tico here for African Glitz. After giving birth to their second child in March 2022, 32-year-old Cora Obidi, known for her African-inspired singing and dancing, separated from her husband of four years. Why am I doing what? Repeat it. I was literally naked. You're not, but you're not now. I was naked. But you're not now. Repeat Why what you said. You Repeat it. Repeat it. Repeat it. After Cora served in divorce papers, he came out many times to announce that Cora was the problem, explaining he was a good husband and a brilliant father who just wanted to co-parent in peace. On the other hand, Cora accepted her predicaments and moved on, focusing mainly on her craft and co-parenting their two beautiful daughters every other week. Of course, there were custody battles every now and then until their divorce was finalized in November of 2022. While Cora showed a united and peaceful font on social media, not contacting or engaging any media platform or people outside social media to talk about a marriage or divorce, little did she know that her ex-husband has been speaking with not only the media but also a bunch of older women who strongly dislike Cora's lifestyle, her dressing and parenting skill. Cora Obidi's ex-husband reportedly befriended and recruited these women who worked with him to bring Cora down. They created Facebook and WhatsApp groups to discuss the information they found on Cora, with the intention of taking her to court or sending her to jail. They also monitored her live videos and reported every mistake she made that would benefit her ex, particularly those related to their children. The group allegedly encouraged him to seek full custody while he promised them that it would not stop until Cora was behind bars or ceased to exist. As we all know, 
Cora has always lived a life according to her own rules and people either love or hate her for it. After her divorce, those who disapproved of her lifestyle joined forces with her ex-husband. Among them were a group of older women who took their dislike of Cora to a whole new level with some adopting her ex-husband as their own child, others treating him like family and another set considering him their best friend. These women said terrible things about Cora, blamed her for everything and made some shocking allegations against her. Unfortunately, her ex-husband found these women to be perfect allies in his efforts to defame the mother of his children. He reportedly discussed and disclosed the details of their divorce with them and even shared incriminating information about Cora. While some of these women sent him gifts, some gave him legal advice, while another set donated money and raised funds for him. However, one of the incidents that shocked Cora's fans was when a woman who had previously made false and terrible accusations against Cora visited Cora's ex-husband's home and watched over Cora's children. She took inappropriate photos and videos and shared these images with people who disliked Cora before it eventually reached Cora's fans who raised the alarm. Cora fans started to question why a father allowed his ex-wife's enemies to get close to their children and even babysit them while he was away for work, especially since he claimed that his top priority was to keep their children safe. Rather than addressing the incident, the early chiropractor blamed Cora for everything. I was going to eliminate myself from social media to protect my kids because if people want to use my kids, their images, things they say to twist, manipulate and spread a false narrative, how do I protect my kids from that when I can not take any legal action at this current moment? It is mind blowing. Everybody knows that Zoe is not well. Mentally, she's not stable. Everybody know it but you, Justin. So now that happens, instead for you to come out and plead with the audience, please don't share it. What has happened has happened. We'll take it up with the necessary authority. You ignore it. You are expecting me, Lolo. What am I to you? Am I your worker? There's a lot of like money to be, be made on trying to be my friend and then and then turning on me and saying I'm a horrible human. There's a lot of money to be made. I mean, look what Lolo, the, the uh, scammer, is doing. She went. Mr. Ma, I give you 24 hours. What did I say? 24 hours to come and prove how I scam you and what I lie about on you. Okay? 24 hours. As soon as you find I'm happy, you go and find an expert, eh? You've been rejected three times. Yet she In court cases which are supposed to be confidential, Korabidi's ex-husband goes behind social media curtains and discloses information to these women who dislike Cora. In return, these women give him advice on what to do next. When the situation gets tough, he comes on social media and says that he is not allowed to say anything. He has filed up to five ex parte applications to take the children from Cora but with no success. In contrast, Cora reacts strongly on social media whenever he attacks her behind closed doors. A recent incident occurred when he allegedly failed to show up to the usual changeover site to pick up their children and subsequently called the police on Cora. According to Cora, instead of discussing the best time to pick up their children, he threatened to call the police on her. He has dropped the girls off in front of my house for close to, what's close to two months now, no problem. But this particular day, he said no. So I said no problem. The next thing, you know, I woke up in the morning. We communicate to, through this thing called Talking Parents. It's an app when you don't, com you know, communicate with the other parent. You talk with an app. I opened the app and he said, I will be there at your house with the police. I said, eh? <laughs> I'll be there at your house with the police at 2.30. I'm like, no, don't bring the police to my residence. This place is very peaceful and I don't want any police drama. Have I ever called the police? No. Nope. I don't call the police on anyone to harass anyone. Will I use the police to enforce a custody order to make sure that I spend my rightful time with my kids? Absolutely. Because that's my right. When this attempt failed, he went to their daughter's school and picked her up before the closing time without informing his ex-wife. Hey, I went to go pick June up and June was missing. 
Uh, I went to the gate. I talked to the teacher. She said, um, someone came to pick June up by one o'clock. Now June's school closes at two fifty, something like three. And of course, I knew who the person that kidnapped June from her school will be. This is a brand new school. June started school yesterday. She didn't even finish a whole day of her second day of school, and her father meant to pick her up from school. This resulted in Cora speaking out and informing her fans about the challenges she was facing while co-parenting. Reacting to Cora's outburst, Justin Dean posted on Facebook, I am really tired of this lies and drama. His fans were hoping he would address the issue and share his side of the story. However, the next day, he posted something cryptic again and said, Despite the narrative of emotionally manipulative views, I am a role model to peaceful co-parenting. This was followed up by another post that read, I am deleting my Facebook accounts next week. It's the only way I can protect my kids from this unwarranted havoc. The post has now been deleted and here is why. I was very much considering deleting my page. Just not because I was afraid or anything that anybody's saying is true, but just to protect my kids. It's getting, it's getting crazy. Many people think I'm doing nothing to protect myself and these kids in, in this particular situation. Um, and I can't really say the details, but I literally can't. It's um, some jurisdictional issues and I can take no legal action to protect myself um, or my kids from this situation until later this year. Somebody says she doesn't bring my name up. She does all the time, all the time, directly and indirectly. It is her entire business model. Her entire livelihood, she pays her mortgage off of spreading lies, hate, and discontent towards me. So, you crazy people out there that are rooting on this psychopath using kids to hurt people, you are crazy. And you need to seriously seek Jesus, seek some therapy, something. Because there is something wrong with you. I'm tired of this shit. Truly, I am. I'm trying to co-parent in peace and it is proving impossible. I'm All I want is to co-parent in peace. That's all I want. After Cora served divorce papers to her chiropractor husband in March of 2022, she moved on with her life. So, I went and got my kids and explained to her why I was taking control of the kids. I was not withholding her and I had no intention of keeping the kids from her. Today I had to work because we haven't found a nanny yet and I asked her to watch the kids for a little bit and she agreed and I said I will be taking the kids back to my, my house and when I got there her friends handed me a pile of papers and the police were there well, it showed up later. She falsely filed. However, her ex-husband continued to blame her for everything that went wrong in their marriage and after it ended. He also blames her for his struggling businesses and lack of motivation to create content. He seems to forget that during the divorce proceedings, Cora received 10 times more criticism and backlash than he ever did. Some fans of Cora claim that prior to the mother of two featuring her children's voices on social media and occasionally showing their backs to celebrate milestones, Justin Dean had already broken the law by sending pictures and videos of the children to his women fans in a secret group. Cora Obidi announced on January 18th that she would be travelling to Nigeria to celebrate her father's birthday. Two days later, photos and videos of Papa Obidi surrounded by his children and grandchildren were shared online, and they melted hearts. However, Cora's children were not present in the pictures and her fans blamed her ex-husband for not granting their second daughter a passport to travel to Nigeria. In one of her videos, Cora mentioned that she asked her ex-partner, Justin Dean, to accompany her to the passport office to obtain a passport for their daughter, Athena. However, Justin refused, claiming that Nigeria is not a safe place for their children. And I asked one simple request. I said, please, do. Oh. Please, oh, just come with me. Let's go and do Athena's passports. That's all I ask for. 
what did he do? He decided to, the appointment was today, he decided to be a no-show. Now I have no appointment. Athena's passport. My father has never seen Athena face to face. Is my constitutional right based on the divorce decree that I can take my children to my country? No matter how horrible my country is, I have the right to take them to my country. It's my constitutional right. You said I don't want I don't feel comfortable. In the past, their first daughter, June, traveled to Nigeria as a baby and more than three times before Athena's birth. Some of Kora's fans were sympathetic towards her father, who has not had the opportunity to meet his grandchildren since her birth. It is truly shocking that a man who claimed to have been peaceful since his divorce resorted to secretly communicating with people who dislike his ex-wife, providing them with information and even allowing a stranger to get close to their children. Despite the trending story, he refuses to address the issue. Instead, he posted a cryptic statement which read, It's very unlikely that I will ever allow my children to be online in the future. People destroy beautiful things. When this got out of hand, he went on Facebook Live to blame Cora and bloggers. She can't stay relevant without mentioning my name. Otherwise, she wouldn't mention my name. She needs me. She still needs me. I helped her build her brand. I was there every day, cheerleading, brand strategy, every day, day in and day out, pushing her to be the best version of herself. And this is how I'm repaid. And also, I'm here to defend my reputation from a psychotic group of people that don't like me because of the color of my skin, my gender, and the fact that a certain human being entire existence is based on trying to tear mine down. Since the father of two has not addressed the recent issue of their children's photos, Cora's fans expect her to take this situation seriously and do something about it. What do you think about these old situations? Do you think Justin Dean went too far this time by allowing a big Cora hater to babysit their young children? Why do you think he keeps blaming Cora for everything? Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be notified every time I upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.